So, let me guess. You're here because your teacher couldn't explain fractions, or you're in the middle of your homework because you can't remember how to add fractions. Well, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you that adding fractions is really easy. In fact, it's so easy that by the end of today's lesson, you'll wonder how you never understood it. There are three simple steps to adding similar fractions. The first two are very easy. In step one, you add the numerators together. And in step two, because the denominators are the same, you keep the denominator. Then, for step three, you simplify the result. Now, this step is a little bit harder, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. It's really important to simplify because you'll lose marks if you don't do this important necessary step. Okay, let's take this example, one over five plus two over five. You can already see that they have common denominators. The denominator five is the same for each fraction. So all we have to do is the first step, which is add the two numerators, that's one plus two, which gives us three, and then keep the denominator, which equals five. So one over five plus two over five equals three over five. That's the addition part. Simple, right? But teacher will want a simplified answer. You simplify because it expresses the fraction in its simplest form and your teacher wants to know that you can actually do this necessary step. Here's what to do. Find the largest number that divides numerator and denominator of the fraction and then divide both by that number. That number is called the highest common factor. The number has to be able to divide both numerator and denominator. Only one divides both. 3 divided by 1 equals 3, and 5 divided by 1 equals 5. So dividing top and bottom by 1 gives 3 over 5, which was the fraction we got in the first place. So 3 over 5 cannot simplify further. That's our final answer. Let's take one more example. 1 over 8 plus 3 over 8. You can immediately see that both these fractions have common denominators. 8 is common to both fractions. So all we need to do is the first step, which is add the numerators, that's 1 plus 3, which gives us 4, and keep the denominator, 8. So then that gives us a fraction 4 over 8. So 1 over 8 plus 3 over 8 equals 4 over 8. Easy, wasn't it? Careful though, remember, teacher expects you to simplify. Simplifying gives the fraction 1 over 2, which is equivalent to 4 over 8. Remember, you do this by finding the biggest number that divides top and bottom of the fraction. That's 4 which is the highest common factor. It divides both of them. 4 divided by 4 equals 1, and 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So dividing numerator and denominator by the common factor 4 gives you 1 over 2, and that's our final answer. Confused about simplifying fractions? I've made another video that teaches you a step-by-step -step method for this process. I'll drop a link in the description. So that's how you add and simplify fractions with the same denominators. Remember the three steps. Firstly, you add the numerators, and in the second step, because the denominators are the same, you keep the denominator. And then with that result, you go to step three, which is you simplify the resulting fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by the highest common factor. Well, hopefully you were able to see how easy it is to add and simplify fractions in today's lesson. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching.